morning. Tomorrow morning is Sunday. I hope to see you at worship. If you haven't been back since we reopened worship, come give it a shot. I have a question. What do you do when you know you are facing something that is just way too big for you to handle? Does panic set in? Do we get frustrated? Do we give up? Do we get discouraged? Do we say, woe is me? Do we sit around in a big state of affair? Or do we take out our fears and frustrations on those that are closest to us, those that are around us? I don't know. But when we face something that's too big, we have to have someone to lean on. That's where our brothers and sisters come in. That's where the only person that I know that is strong enough and powerful enough to take us through anything that comes our way is our Heavenly Father. There are lots of accounts in the Old Testament of faith and how faith got people through things. David and Goliath is one. There's another one in Second Chronicles chapter 20 that I'd like us to look at this morning. Three armies combine to make a vast army that moves on Judah and King Jehoshaphat. Men get up, come to the king, and they say, hey, this army's coming, and they are close. And Jehoshaphat is alarmed and inquires to the Lord and puts a fast throughout the land. People come from all over to, to inquire of the Lord. And Jehoshaphat gets up there and prays to the Lord. And at the end of that prayer, he says, we do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you, Lord. We don't know what to do. We don't know how to handle this army. We do not have the power to face this army, but our faith and our eyes are on you, Lord. The Lord has a guy stand up in the assembly and he says, listen, King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord has to say to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army. For the battle is not yours, but God's. You know what Jehoshaphat does? The next morning, Jehoshaphat gets up and he says, listen to me, Judah and the people of Jerusalem. Have faith in the Lord your God and you will be upheld. Then he goes out and he appoints some singers to go in front of the army, and he and the singers march out in front of the army, and they go down to take their stand against this vast army. And when they get to the desert, they look out and the desert's just covered with dead bodies. I could tell you all the details of this story, but you can read them in 2 Chronicles chapter 20. The important thing is King Jehoshaphat realized that he did not have the power, and the people did not know what to do. So they put their faith in the Lord, and they looked to him and told him that their eyes are on him. And the Lord responded by saying, you don't have to worry about this fight. This battle is not yours. This battle belongs to the Lord. We need to learn to honestly keep our eyes on the Father and to realize where that power comes from and have faith in that power and know always that the battle is really not ours. It belongs to the Lord. Be safe. Stay well out there.